But the Rebas in come. Do you know how many generations of, of musicians that the Rebas have stayed? Many of us, we, knew, we are teenagers, and they are not the Rebas. One, that's the one that the music industry, Joma Jesus. How many of you know Joma Jesus? Do you know how many generations that woman has been singing? Meanwhile, do you know any latest song that she released? Value. Value is a measure of your usefulness through your abilities to provide solutions. You see this kingdom, eh, this God's kingdom, it works by a reward system. My sister, how valuable you are will determine how men will favor you. You know, I'm not talking about unmerited favor here. I'm talking about a favor that can what? That can be merited. How valuable you are will determine also how men. That is why you must invest in yourself. Oh, you are a great singer. Yes, I know. But I don't sing. I don't sing for, for you know, I'm, I'm not singing so that um, I'm going to the music industry. I'm actually a baker. But uh, 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 uh. it will shock you that people will keep ordering your product because you sing. Every tool that God has given to you is for a reason. Are you getting me? So ensure you keep what? Improving your what? yourself come to a point that if i want to say i don't want to work with ima it should be very hard for me to get your replacement that is when you are valuable they are you come to a place whereby if you're a keyboardist be a keyboardist if you know you are going to play very well play very well if you know you want to sing sing very well let it be that the day you are not in church people should know you are not in church if you're only a career person, you bake cake, bake cake to the point that if I, if you, if then you tell me you are not feeling fine, you cannot bake that cake. I should be able to wait till you are well. I should be able to wait. Are you understanding me? That you become so exceptionally good at what you do. I'm telling you that dimensions of people will come to you. You will keep getting orders. There's someone here into logistics. And he came to my house. I gave him something. I said, I want you to help me deliver this thing and that, that, that. And he said, okay. He just told me, okay, he took it. And I didn't follow up. I didn't even follow up. When I remember that I gave him something, I told him, ah, he has done it already. He should have arrived. I said, really? I was impressed. If he's another person, as I've given him that thing, he'll be waiting for apostle. Ah, apostle never pay. Let me, let me wait see. Apostle pay if you know. I don't understand it. Let me wait. Now I forgot about it. Two weeks later, I'm chatting you up. You say, Apostle, ah, you've not sent now. When you when you pay, that's when transaction is confirmed. <laughs> that is okay. But you should know who you are doing certain things to. You know, men are different. That's where some people don't understand, even in business. And you are surprised why you're not getting people from people. Men are what? Men are different. There are people that when they want to patronize you, you suspend your principle and you work with them. There are people that when they patronize you, if they are owing you, you lead them to owe you. Then when you now see that, ah, this person indeed has truly forgotten, you can now chat to the person and say, ah, ah, you tell the person politely. I don't know whether you are getting me. Men are different. You have to know who you are dealing with. It's part of what we are talking about. Value. Value. Oh, you, you are going to be a career person. Yes? What, what do you study? You studied medicine. Okay, what are you now? You're a general practitioner. Good. If you remain like that for the next 20 years, even where you are working, we will not need your services again. So what do you need to do? You need to keep improving yourself. Keep going back to school. Keep going back. Hold on. Do you know that there are only few men in Nigeria that make themselves so indispensable? One, let's look at the music industry. Choma Jesus. How many of you know Choma Jesus? Do you know how many generations that woman has been singing? Meanwhile, do you know any little song that she released? Do you know any little song you don't know? Is it some Chiyama, hey, Chiyama? All of us. No, not Chiyama. Yes. Eh? She's the one that sang that one, Nabi. She will keep, she will keep remixing the song. Everybody, and she's not even moving. She'll just be here. You, you will dance till you, till you almost run mental. But I ask myself, what of the other people that God lifted in our generation? We are there. How come she stayed and she lasted generations? Oga okay, is value. It's not just anointing. Everybody had anointing. But there's see, that's why I'm teaching you this. Thing. There should be something extra that make me want to keep seeking you. But the Do you know many generations of, of musicians that the have stayed? 
Many of us, we, knew, we are teenagers, we are not in the university. Let's be honest now. Some of you, your first song, it was in the, it was the, in the book of life. You heard it every Palm 5 or Palm 6. And you repented. Several times until you started to stop playing the song so that you not repent again. Now, you are 29. Now, you are 30. You are 32. The same at the university, you are still vibing to. So, what did Nathaniel know that other people in the generation did not know? It's not about God, give me one hit song. <laughs> one hit song will still become stale. How many more hit songs will you produce? And hope you know that we don't vibe to your song because the lyrics is good. Uh. Value. Tell your neighbor, be valuable. Be valuable. Oh, very good. I know. I was discussing with Pastor Bright. We we're talking about somebody. Very good automobile guy. Very good automobile guy. Very good, extremely good guy. And Bright told me, ah, boss, if this guy go and study mechanical engineer, this thing that he worked for three days and he charged 20,000, this same guy, if he add education to it, he will, he will do that same work. He will collect 400,000 and you will pay. It's the truth, you will pay. What's the difference? He added something to it. And somebody, ah, how about if they charge 400,000 for that thing? Ah, ah, yeah. Wow, awesome. How do you do it? Uh, what you don't know, there's something else that is on thunder bend that and it's value. How many of you have been in this position where you want to let me let me talk about maybe you want to do service? Like you want to ask for a service. You tell that somebody up. Oh, let me use which one can I use that is let me, let's use copywriting for instance. Let's say Edna is into copywriting. Check it out. Edna please, I want to do some copywriting job. Da, 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 da. Edna, how much do you need? You tell me 20 kids, okay. Ah. And it's not good to have 15k for me. Say, okay, uh, for because of you, give me 15k. You are done. You now go to mess your man. Copyright, how much do you do? I need for 150. 150. Ah, ah, it's too much. Can't you take 120? Okay, 150 is the price. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, why should I work with you? Ah, see, 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 see. Well, uh, at the end of the day, you will discover that most times you won't pay this one fifteen thousand. You will pay this for 150,000. That's the truth. Let's be honest. You will go for the more expensive one. What did you see here that you didn't see here is value. And value most times will be expressed from how you talk. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. Number four.